This afternoon, a march through downtown Phoenix ended at Hans Park, and participants say they are proud to celebrate the civil rights icon, but add to that that there is still a lot more to do. Michael Raimondi is in the newsroom to explain what they want to see moving forward. Michael. Yeah, that event was packed. Families stopping by all afternoon today, and we talked to people who say today is about service, celebration, and challenging the status quo. Celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. I'm so glad to see so many people out today because this is a special day. Performers took the stage for hundreds of people. Families were able to grab some food and shop at Margaret T. Hance Park. One of a kind garments, I make them all myself. Maesha Pasha shows off her flair with her clothing. The black business owner sets up a stand here every year. As long as I'm alive, I'm gonna be here. Pasha says this event keeps growing. We didn't have M MLK Day here for a long time. And so when we did have it, you need to be here to support it because if you don't support it, it's, not, it's gonna go away. And we don't want this to go away, we need this. She says it brings people together to have some fun, but the message behind the holiday has a different tone. It is a day to remember, but it's a day to remember to be active and to not just come out and have fun, but to do the work as well. Danielle Wilson is talking about pushing for racial equality and ending hate. She's hoping people support each other more in a divided world. Of course we're going to be mad about how things are. Of course we're going to want things to be different. She says it's great that people volunteer and enjoy a day off from work, but people need to keep working the rest of the year. This is a great thing for us to see that, yes, we're all here. Now what's next? What are we doing tomorrow? Former Arizona Cardinal Larry Fitzgerald also spoke at a virtual event today. He said it is critical that we volunteer and do good in our communities as often as possible. His foundation has given support to breast cancer survivors. It's also helped raise money to help kids get a better education. I'll send it back to you in the studio, Yetta.